from Tavern on the Green in Central Park, New York. It's the Cube covering Veritas Vision Solution Day. Brought to you by Veritas. We're back in the heart of Central Park. We're here at Tavern on the Green, beautiful location for the Veritas Vision Day. You're watching The Cube. My name is Dave Vellante. We go out to the events. We extract the signal from the noise. We get the CEO of Veritas here, Greg Hughes, newly minted. Nine months in. Greg, thanks for coming on The Cube. It's great to be here, Dave. Thank you. So, so let's talk about your, your nine. What was your agenda, your first nine months? You know, they talk about the 100-day plan. What was your nine-month plan? Yeah, well, look, I, uh, I've been here for nine months, but I'm a boomerang. So I was here from 2003 to 2010. I ran all of global services during that uh, time and uh, became the chief strategy officer after that, was here during the uh, merger by Symantec, and then uh, ran the enterprise product group. So had all the products and uh, all the engineering teams for all the enterprise products. And really my starting point is the customer. I really like to hear directly from the customer. And so I've spent probably 50% of my time out and about meeting with customers. And I've, at this point, I've met with uh, 100 different accounts all around the world. And what I'm hearing is, uh, you know, it just makes me even more excited to be here. Uh, digital transformation is real. Uh, these customers are investing a lot in uh, digitizing their companies. And that's driving an explosion of data. Uh, that data all needs to be available and recoverable, and that's where we step, step in. That's, we're the best at that. Okay, so that was sort of alluring to you, just that you're right, digit, everybody's trying to get digital transformation right. It, it changes the, the whole data protection equation. It kind of reminds me in a much bigger scale of virtualization. You remember, we, everybody had to rethink their backup strategies because you now had less physical resources. This is a whole different set of pressures, isn't it? It's like, you can't go down, you have to always have access to data. Data is increasingly seven. valuable. Yep. So talk a little bit more about the, the importance of data, the, the role of data, and, and where Veritas fits in. Well, our, our customers are using new, they're driving new applications throughout the enterprise. So machine learning, AI, big data, internet of things. And that's all driving the use of new data management technologies. Uh, Cassandra, Hadoop, OpenSQL, MongoDB. You've heard all these, right? And then that's driving the use of new platforms. Hyperconverged, virtual machines, the cloud, right? And so all this data is popping up in all these different areas. And without Veritas, it can exist. It'll just be in silos, right? And that becomes very hard to manage and protect it. All that data needs to be protected. We're there to protect everything. And that's really how we think about it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think you know, the big message we heard today was you got a lot of different clouds. You don't want to have a different data protection strategy for each cloud. So you've, you've got to simplify that for people. Sounds, sounds easy, but from, a, from an R&D perspective, you've got a large install base. You've been around for a long, long time. So you've got to put investments to actually see that through. Talk about your R&D and investment strategy. Well, our investment strategy is very simple. Uh, we are the market share leader in data protection and software defined storage. And that scale gives us a tremendous advantage. We can use that scale to invest more aggressively than anybody else in those areas. So we can cover all the workloads, we can cover wherever our customers are putting their data, and we can help them standardize on one provider of data protection. And that's, and that's us, so they don't have to have the complexity of point products in their infrastructure. So I wonder if we could talk just a little veer here and talk about the private equity play. You guys are, you know, the private equity, you know, uh, exit, and you're seeing a lot of high profile PE companies. I mean, it used to be where companies would go to die, and now it's becoming a way for the PE guys to actually get step ups and, and make a lot of money and by investing in companies and building communities, investing in R&D. Some of the stuff we've covered, we've, we've, we've looked at, saw, followed SyncSort, BMC, Infor, really interesting company, uh, which is kind of an exit from, from yep. PE, right? Uh, Dell, the biggest one of all, Riverbed, and of course Veritas. So there's like a new private equity playbook. It's something you know well from your, your Silver Lake days. Describe what that dynamic is like and how it's changed. Oh, look, uh, private equity has been involved in software for 10 or 15 years. And it's, be, it's been a very important area of investment in private equity. Mm -hmm. I've worked for private equity firms, worked for software companies, 
Uh, so I know it very well. And, and the basic idea is continue the investment, continue the investment in the core products and the core customers to make sure that there is continued enhancement and innovation of the core products. And uh, with that, there'll be continuity and customer relationships, and those customer relationships are very valuable, right? That's really the secret, if you will, of the private equity. Well, and public markets are very fickle. I mean, obviously they want growth now. They don't care about profits. You guys have got very nice cash flow of you and some of the brethren that, that I mentioned. So that could be very attractive, particularly when, you know, public markets, they ebb and flow. So the key is value for customers, and that's going to drive value for shareholders. That's right? absolutely right. So yep. talk about the TAM. I mean, part of a CEO's job is to continually find new ways. You're a strategy guy, so TAM expansion is, is part of the role. How do you look at the market? Where are the growth opportunities? We see our uh, TAM, or total addressable market, at being around $17 billion, cutting across all of our areas, probably growing in the high single digits, 8%. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, that's kind of a big picture view of it. When I, uh, I like to think about it, I like to think about it from the themes I'm hearing from customers, right? What are our, what are our customers doing? Well, they are, uh, they're trying to leverage the cloud. Uh, most of our customers, which are you know large enterprises and enterprises, we we work with the blue chip enterprises on the planet. Uh, they're going to move to a, a a hybrid approach. They're going to have on-premise infrastructure and multiple cloud providers. So that's really the the what they're doing. Uh, the second thing our customers are worried about is ransomware and ransomware attacks. Uh, spear phishing works. The bad guys are going to get in. They're going to put some bad malware in your environment. The key is to be resilient and to be able to restore at scale. That's another area of significant investment. The third, they're trying to automate. They're trying to make investments in automation to take out manual labor, to reduce error rate. Uh, in this whole world, uh, tape should go away. And so one of the things our customers are doing is trying to get rid of tape backup in their environment. Tape is a long-term retention strategy. And then finally, as you, if you get rid of tape uh, and you have all your secondary data on disk or in the cloud, what becomes really cool is you can analyze all that data out of bound from the primary storage. And that's one of the bigger changes I've seen since I returned back mm. to Veritas. Yeah, so $17 billion, obviously that transcends backup. And I, you know, frankly, if you go back to the early days of Veritas, I never. I always thought it was a data management company and yeah. sort of yeah. returned to those roots. Backup, software-defined storage, compliance, all those areas are key to what we do. And you mentioned automation. When you think about cloud and digital transformation, autom automation's fundamental. We had NBC Universal on earlier, and the customer was talking about scripts and how scripts are fragile and they need to be maintained and it doesn't scale. And so he wants to drive automation as, in, in, into his processes as much as possible using a platform that's sort of API-based, modern microservices, containers, kind of using all those term, terms. What does that mean for you guys in terms of your R&D roadmap and in terms of the investments that you're making in those types of software innovations? Well, actually, one of the things we're talking about today is our latest release of NetBackup 812, which had a significant investment in APIs. Uh, and that allow our customers to use the product and automate uh, processes, tie it together with their infrastructure like ServiceNow or whatever they have, uh, and we're going to continue full throttle on APIs. It's something, just having lunch with some customers is just, just today, they want us to go you know, even further in our APIs. So uh, that's really core to what we're doing. So you guys are a little bit like the New England Patriots, right? You're the leader and everybody wants to take you down, right? So you got all Nobody's confused me in. for Tom Brady. <laughs> Although my wife looks, uh, I'll, I'll stack her up against Giselle any time, but, <laughs> but, uh, but, but I'm no Tom Brady. So okay, but so how do you maintain <laughs> your leadership and your relevance for customers. A lot of VC money coming into the marketplace. Like I said, everybody wants to take the leader down. How do you maintain your leadership? Yeah, we've been around for 25 years. And we have, we're very honored to have 95% of the Fortune 100 are customers. And if you go to any large country in the world, it's very much like that. We work with the bluest of blue chips, the biggest companies, the most complex, the most demanding, the most highly regulated, those are our customers. And we steer the ship based on their input. And that's why we're relevant, right? We're listening to them. And uh, our customers are extremely relevant. We're going to help them protect, uh, classify, archive their data wherever it is. So the first nine months was all about hearing from customers. So what's the next 12 to 18 months about for you? 
You know, we, uh, we're continuing to invest, um, you know, delighted to, to talk about partnerships and where those are going as well. I think that's going to be a, a major emphasis of us to continue to drive our partnerships. We can't do this alone. Our customers use products from a variety of other players. Uh, today we had um, uh, Henry Axelrod from uh, Amazon Web Services here talking about how we're working closely with Amazon. We announced a really cool partnership with Pure Storage uh, where you know our customers that use Pure Storage is all flash arrays can just, you know, they know their data is backed up and, and protected with, uh, with Veritas and with net backup. So, you know, it's continuing to make sure that across this ecosystem of partners, we are the one player that can help our large customers. Good, great, thank you for mentioning that. The ecosystem is a key part of it, the channel, that's yeah. how you continue to grow. You get a lot of leverage out of that. Well, Greg, thanks very much for coming to theCUBE. Congratulations Dave, on, thank the, you. on the new role. We, we, we are super excited for you guys and we'll be watching. Uh, I enjoyed it, thank All you. All right, keep Take it right care. there, everybody. We'll be back with All our right. next guest. This is Dave Vellante. We're here in Central Park. We'll be right back. Veritas Vision. Right back. <laughs>